Hi. Welcome. I believe episode four of this untitled series with Jacob. Hello. Welcome in to United Spurs of America or Jacob TV, wherever you may be watching. Big up yourself right now. I hope you're doing well. I am. It is a Friday evening just after 7 p.m. over here. Um might be watching this in the morning so good morning you might be watching this at night hope you're having a good evening to your weekend um i just wanted to come in probably gonna be a little bit shorter than yesterday yesterday i got rambling a little bit so it went about 20 minutes or so yeah today i don't think we'll be quite as long because there's not as much news but there are a few things i did want to talk to talk about and namely first being uh destiny udogi he's officially our player now his loan spell at udinese come to an end uh, so I want to talk about him. I want to talk about some of the things uh, with him and Ainge Postacoglu. I believe there's another club as well that is in the race trying to get Destiny Udogi to come to their team. Udogi, to me, quite a exciting talent. He's playing right now with the U21s in the World Cup still for Italy. Um, quite the young player. He's shown. I, honestly, this is the squad that I've watched in Serie A the most last season i've admitted already that i watched Bayern leverkusen as my bundesliga team uh psv as my desired watching airy divisi team and then i had uh udinese for obvious reasons as my watched Serie A team please do hit that like and subscribe real quick before i keep going um i want to see if i can get the numbers up we're, we were breaking 100 views so that's nice i want to see if we can get up to 200 so please do hit that like hit a comment let me know your thoughts down below what i love about uh this is i think it gives you the chance to kind of comment while you're listening and then comment again i i get re repeat comments from y'all and i really appreciate that again i vow to always reply to your comment here if you got something to say to me i will always reply with my thoughts about your thoughts because honestly this show goes how we go so in you i trust i hope you trust in me if you're listening to me right now what two minutes into this program so big up yourself right now but i also did want to talk about dyer he's linked with saudi arabia um the the guy on twitter has got a, sh a lot of followers so i don't know maybe we don't buy into it too much i don't know yet um and then also the certain return of a certain spanish left back and if you know who i'm talking about he posted on instagram today his feet reclined on the suitcase, a Louis Vuitton suitcase, might I add. There's a few things why I think this is important, and I'll say it at the end of the video before I wrap up. So let's go ahead and kick things off. Let's start it today with Destiny Udoji. He's in the thumbnail. He's a very important player, I think, for us going forward. He can be. Let me rephrase. He can be an important player. Um, so let's see what we could get out of him. I did want to uh, read a quote here, so I will go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. There we go. And I'm going to let y'all read this quote along with me. And this is Destiny Udoji's agent, all right? He says, Udoji's situation is clear. He is a Tottenham player. And we had, uh, this is a quote, by the way. So before I keep going, this is a actual quote, not one of them fake quotes, you know. I know people out there like them fake quotes, them fake news. But hey, I'm only going to read what I think is actual legit information. So um, the quote from Destiny's agent is this. Udogi's situation is clear. He is a Tottenham player. And we had contact over the last few days because they changed management. And the coach will play a 4-3-3 rather than a 3-5-2. Which is what, if you remember, when we originally signed him for Antonio Conte, we did sign him for that 3-5-2 to play that left attacking wing back. Uh, it will be different since he will be... Put I'm assuming be forced to play in that fullback position instead. The agent goes on to say that Postacoglu is absolutely convinced that Udogi will have space, but the Italian clubs are calling because some feel he needs another step before making the move, perhaps in a top club like Juve, Milan, or Inter. Um, that's interesting because he's suggesting here with that quote they're almost suggesting that he's not ready for a Tottenham Hotspur that he should go play for Juve Milan or Inter in order to maybe step it up so then he can play are we thinking hit me in the in the comments do we think maybe Destiny needs another loan to a top Serie A club if, for me uh I don't I want to see what he can bring us I want to see what he could do with Ainge I feel like Ainge and Udogi they're going to cook up some nice paella it's going to be an absolutely killer dish to me 
uh, I don't want to loan him. I'm curious where y'all are at. Do you want to loan Destiny Udogi to say Juve, Milan, or Inter? I don't. What do you want to do? Uh, please let me know down below. The quote goes on to say, I received a call from the Tottenham technical area today and asked us to confirm the plan, which is to go on tour in Thailand. They guarantee the importance of the player as of today. I'm going to highlight that real quick. Um, to go on tour in Thailand, they guarantee the importance of the player as of today. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. I'm going to give you my phone number. Give me a call because this is the kind of news I've been. I love this. Honestly, with our signings, I talked about this a little bit uh, on Time Added On. Shout out Alan Clark. I was on his channel a little bit earlier tonight. I talked about the fact that I love Ainge and what he's saying, what's coming out from what he says to these players when he talks to them. They talked to the technical, they didn't say this is Ainge, but they said they got a call from the technical area and they confirmed the importance of this player. They said, nah, 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 Yudogi, that's ours. He's important. He's in our plans. He's going to Thailand. Don't talk to Juve. Don't talk to Milan. Get him on a plane. Get him in, get him in London. Let's get him training with the team. I'm so excited to see what he could bring. This is a guy, again, he's the reason why I watched Udinese and I enjoyed it the hell out of him he, he started off on fire it, it it was a little some people bring up his defensive uh that it could be a hole his defensive capabilities that could be a hole in his game i did want to say his his seasonal stats he averaged over two tackles per game over one intercept 1.1 interceptions per game um and he would win the possession at least once a game so and dribbled past less than once he was less than one on average per game that times that he was dribbled past those to me are three really uh important things when i look at a defensive stat because honestly i think that um you know how many times are you tackling someone how many times are you intercepting the ball and then how many times are you getting dribbled past how many times are you winning us possession these are things i want to know from a defensive standpoint i think as an attacker he's got it all he can shoot he has some beautiful goals i wish i could show uh the game footage but i don't want to get copyrighted but if you go on uh hit me up on uh dm me on twitter or something dm me i'll send you some compilations i've found of some of amazing goals he's had some crazy right foot curlers top top bins i mean nasty nasty stuff wetness all around me true but i am no island i think is what he says to himself when he takes some of those shots because honestly he's quite impressive with some of his shots uh in the syria he did have i believe four no three goals in the syria four assists um Statistically, on average, Perisic's crosses were more accurate than his uh, this season. But to me, I, I'm not reading too much into that. Again, I think this kid's got a bright future, and it could be here with Tottenham Hotspur. That's just my feeling. What are your thoughts on you, Dogie? Please let me know down below. Uh, I'm pretty excited about him. I'm excited to see what Ainge Postacoglu can do with him, quite frankly. Uh, so the sooner he comes in, the sooner he starts training, the, the better for me uh, personally. But uh, I, I did want to play something for y'all. Um, if you forgot, today, June 30th, let me go ahead and share this real quick. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted, but uh, as of June 30th, what was it? On this day in 2001, this man right here promised to make us proud. I promise to you, we're going to make you proud. We're going to make you proud. You hear that? He's going to make us proud. That was on this date in 2021. Wow. Hit me with your favorite Nuno memory, please. Uh, shout out Tottenham Hotspur for that video. Please don't uh, copyright me, but we move. I'll edit it out if it's a problem. No worries. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share that, uh, that little bit of Nuno information there. And then also, um, the, the, I, I prefaced it earlier in the show. Uh, this guy right here, I'm not going to attempt. Okay, I will attempt to pronounce his name, but Ekram Kanur. Ek, Ekram Kanur. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Ekrim Kanur, I don't know, uh, claims Saudi Arabian league clubs are monitoring the situation with Tottenham's 29-year-old English defender Eric Dyer. There he is pointing. We know he's good at that. Um, but just a little bit, this guy, look, 
he's got 231,000 followers. So I'd imagine there's some credibility freelance reporter for ESPN. Um, oh wait, maybe I'll zoom that in. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Um, he's got, see, here it is 231,000 followers. So he's got 231,000 more followers than me on my personal Twitter. Dang, but he's a freelance reporter. Um, and he claims that Saudi Arabian clubs are monitoring his situation with Eric Dyer. If Saudi clubs are listening, anyone out there listening, uh, the situation with Eric Dyer, if you want to monitor it, buy him now. He's so good for you. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him pointing and he'll, he can speak a lot of languages. What else do people defend him with? Uh, he's misunderstood. He's a, he, he'll give you a service and what else? uh this is where live chat's great because y'all would help me out with famous defensive quotes of eric dyer but uh those are just a few that come to my mind uh i've called him out publicly on twitter people have given me shit about it that's fine you can continue to it doesn't bother me any i know what i see which when i see eric dyer it's an awful defender let's have it right um so it'll be interesting to see what clubs and who we have to jump at the opportunity to sell this guy. Got to jump at the opportunity. Um, I, again, it doesn't really say who. Uh, <laughs> what a comment from that guy. Yeah, everyone wants it. Come on. Come on. They're monitoring the situation. The situation is you want him. You need him. He's yours. You can have him. No one's going to, everyone's going to root you on for doing it. Uh, maybe not the club that buys him, but the people uh, that I know. I know I'll be rooting it on, at least personally. Uh, curious what y'all would think. What? How much you taking for Dyer? That's the second little subject. Comment below. Uh, hit me with your how much is too much or how much is not enough of Eric Dyer. Personally, I think $12 million, That sounds good. We're going to get 10 for Harry Winks. Uh, Harry Winks allegedly, you know, he's now his, his loan at Sampdoria is officially over Mr. Winks. So he's officially now a Tottenham Hotspur player again. Ainge, Ainge's big day begins tomorrow. Uh, lots to look forward to. Hopefully a lot of movement, a lot more movement. Again, um, James Madison, very happy with that deal. Vicario Sicario, very happy with that deal. Destiny Udogi is now our player. All these players coming back from loan. Speaking of players coming back from loan, um, I do want to share another tweet. I got one more tweet for y'all to share. All right, one more tweet. So um, here it is. Boom. It's in Portuguese. Let me translate that for you. Regilon posted this on his instagram that he is coming to london do you think he deserves another opportunity and i think that's a great question shout out at brazil spurs um they ask a very good question this is what he posted on his instagram story so you can see londres he's got the emojis the airplane the soccer ball football whatever you want to call it uh and the uk flag which uh, if you put the uk flag on youtube you know you're going to get a black flag it's like a pirate flag on youtube um, I don't know why, but there he is. Uh, his feet are on the Louis Vuitton. If you can see that, that is a Louis Vuitton bag. Milano pants. I don't know what Milano pants are, but he's got Milano pants. Some some nice white shoes look like they ain't been worn once. And his feet are upon what I can only imagine is probably about at least, what, $700 Louis Vuitton or Gucci, whatever. that. I, I'm not good with them brands, but his feet are on it. And he's back in London. And to me, uh, the optics of this, you can question. I saw something on Twitter saying uh, he shouldn't have posted a photo of his feet up, him sitting there relaxing with his feet up. He should have posted him on the treadmill, him on the pitch, him kicking a ball, saying I'm back in London, instead of oh, I'm sitting, I'm relaxed, kicking my feet up, that the optics look bad. Because um, he was, if you remember, a little bit ostracized because he was known for being late. I mean, those wag those those legs are freshly waxed as well, if you didn't notice. Look at them, them sons of bitches are shining. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. Let me know what you think down below. Does Sergio Reguilon deserve another chance? Uh, or should we send him out alone, sell him, see what we can get for him? Uh, should he play backup to Destiny Udoji? Those are a few questions I have for you. So uh, if, if you care if you're still listening 15 minutes 14 whatever it may be 
Um, if you're still listening to the sounds of my voice, I big up yourself right now. Uh, but yeah, tell me down below. Those were the three things I wanted to talk about today. Um, obviously, I'll just recap them real quick again. Destiny Udogi is officially our player. How does he fit in with Ainge? What do you think uh, big clubs are, are asking and lurking for him? His agent hinted that maybe he should go to Milan, Inter, or Juve. Uh, I want to know what y'all think. Are we sold? I'm sold. Keep Udogi 100%. The next thing I want to know from y'all, uh, how much you taking for Dyer? How much is too much? How little is too little for the man Eric Dyer? I'm saying 12. We can get 10 for Harry Winks. We can get 12 for Eric Dyer. Saudi club, maybe I'll say 15. What do you say? And then the third thing I want to know, um, does Sergio Reguilon deserve a second chance with Tottenham Hotspur? I think of all the loanies, um, I'm the most open to the idea of giving him a second chance. When you look at Lo Celso, hell no. And Dombele, hell no. Joe Roden, maybe. Uh, probably not, though. But this is a guy that maybe... But probably not, though, is how I feel as well. But, hey, maybe he surprises Ainge. Maybe he puts the work in. Maybe he seems serious, and we could really push for something. Who knows? Who knows? Exciting times, exciting times. But, anyway, if you are still here, I appreciate yourself. Make sure to hit a like on the way out if you haven't already. Share this around. Trying to help get more views on this. This is the fourth consecutive day. Show some love. Show Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1.5K. So, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe already. And I'm not going to bore you anymore, but I do hope you have a great rest of your week. And I will try and do a live stream this weekend. So, keep it locked on here. At some point, there will be something, if not another one of these, talking to you very candidly very candidly um but i hope you have a rest of your day again i'm too blessed to be stressed so anyone trying to miss me hit me with that negative shit you know this <laughs> too fresh too clean you know what i mean so anyway i hope you have a great rest of your day big up yourself up the lads and as always kush, 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 of america with your host michael and jacob